Hey everyone, Son of Beast and Terry Crews here. This is NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs 24 on EA Sports. Hi everyone, what's Bernie, me phone, and ballpoint pen. Welcome back to another NHL on EA Sports of the Stanley Cup Playoffs in 2024. This next matchup, we're about to be seeing what they all gonna do. And this is what the crazy is. You know what this happens? Because there is one team that's gonna happen since they've seen it in 2022. Well, here's a find. It's one of the biggest rival attackers between, in between of the Metropolitan and the Atlantic Division right in the tomb. We're about to find out who can take them all. It's all for everything. The Bolts are playing against the New York Rangers of the Tampa Bay Lightning, a defending Stanley Cup champion since 2020 and 21. But now they want to see if they can win again over by the other two. And this was their successful for the New York Rangers. They've been playing it here with each other since they made it all the way down to the Eastern Conference Finals. And then they faced a loss against the Tampa Bay Lightnings. Let's have your take here for the for the starting lives, guys. All right, let's get this thing going. For the starting goaltender, we have is Johansson, and equals to Sturkin is the starting goaltender for New York Rangers. He will get to that one into a second later. But first, Nikita Kucherov has a type to type on this eerie passing whipping division. He has it all the way across here to give that pass a long angle right over to the open players on the inbound. He's been going right away for the straight ahead of goes, but his possibility is a lot harder to make the response. Van Victor Cadman, he has an idiot stick him up to the ability like he does for this defensive sick effort. He might have it all down, but what can he do now? Then it's Andre Bezalevsky, he has a control a control issue. Sorry, contourishness. There's an idiot wild size ability, but does it for all for his best. Van Braden Point, he goes with the closing quarters and he close during range in a close quarter at the first period through the third. But sometimes he can do it for this overtime ability if he has it all. But finally, Steven Stumkers with a 1D and he's the captain for the Tampa Bay Bucks. And for the superstar flat factors, only one has made. Sir Ketchup with an idiot artist. Great of daily new directional changes. Now let's go over to the New York Rangers. Here's what I'm going to talk about. You know the guy named the Panera Bread? Well, you know now. Third eye ability has an in for some of the passers. He might have his third eye he could definitely try to take. He can also do one of his angle breaker, 1T, make it snappy, make snipe, and a tip to tip vision. He can do what he wanted to do. Give it all that back if you can. Then it's Adam Fox with the tape to tape on his elite passing within the vision. He also does with this long pass the same thing too, just like Nikita Kucherov, but it's a little bit more different than he has done. Then he goes to Sturkin, has a butterfly effect. He has a great elite butterfly goalie, and he's been like a professional ever since then, after Hendrik Lundqvist has been retired. This time, looks like Sturkin wants to see what he can do if he can try to settle down. Then because Ibanejad has a magnetic ability, he knows he has a great Ely pass reception, but he has also has a puck pickup moment. He tries to pick up a blade, and sometimes with a stick here too. He can kick it, or he can definitely attempt it to keep it right into the stick in front of it. It's hard for him sometimes, but it's great to have a 1T snipe tape to tape in no contest. And the superstar players are Chris Kreider, the Twill Eclipse. That's nothing but they say about the great skull goal screening, and that's a great look to have that screen in play. And then Vincent Trocek has a quick draw, he can try to take over it. And lastly, it's Jacob Truba, a secondary of, uh, one with the captain, knows how he handles, with true lensless ways with a great hitter, and does it all. Alright, that's it for now. Let's head on down to the garden. Standing by, I have this Tyler Beast. He's also along with the other commentaries of the crew. This time, we go over to another range in sight. It's Lifeboat and the Center Ice 
all side Ultra Beasts. We'll be back soon after this. Then, Stars and the Predators will be on its way soon at 8 p.m. Before the last game at 10 p.m., we'll be all Kynes and Canucks. See you all later. We are here live at the Madison Square Garden. Tyler Beast along with Lightbulb and of course Ultra Beasts. This is Hockey of NHL 24 coverage of the Stanley Cup playoffs on EA Sports. And we are ready to take the matchup. The first penalty is called on a start on the game one. This one starts things off with Nikita Kucherov for the start of the period. Well, here's one thing that's going to happen right now because there is one chance that happens to Nikita Kucherov. He got a little bit of an early start and he got a little late tattling it off with that poke check. That's going to be a problem for the courtesy of the Bolts to take over. So the first power play is going to be starting here for the New York Rangers as they start on their way. The goaltender matchups are in between of Igor Shosturkin and Johansson. Here's Fox, he will have that puck now racing in towards the Trocek. Trocek right toward in the middle of the slide and he will have to find his way down. Shot stopped by Johansson. Hedman starts over now for a with the puck. Tampa Bay will clear the puck out of here. The Rangers are back into their offensive territory, still in for the power play with an advantage. Up at the puck. Furbix got one. He'll try to head over to Hedman. Pucking with the score, back again to Fox. He now gives the Trocek shot, and he'll stop by Veselevsky. You know, Veselevsky's one of the biggest men here that he has been playing in before, so that will be the starting goaltender for game one. Right now, Adam Fox will take the tape feed of his own ability. He has it all covered and down and take all of his percentage and go with the tape-to-tape -tape passes. He also can try and take advantage of the power play. I'm trying to watch on Adam, Adam Fox and see if he can handle it on his own. Back to you guys. After a big save here by Veselevsky, still no score in the game. It's still under two minutes in remaining the start of the period. Full pressure range side. This one stayed out. Veselevsky makes a bad save. Now Vanajan will have it a Fox shot. Saved again by Veselevsky. Greiner shot. What a stop by Veselevsky. Panarin is trying to force one. Oh, he got the big hit on that one. That one stayed out of it clearly. That was like a big moment. Like when the reaction comes in for Andrei Veselevsky, he really had to see that one coming in. Looks like he's almost out there ready to go. The man advantage is over right now, and this time it is back to even strength. You know, it's a great way to say this, and, and I have to tell you now, they're, they're really like a good uh, hustle pressure making. They really are trying to show them off with how they can do to handle that one on their own. Because the, the Bolts team, they worked really hard trying to keep the puck out of here. He scores! The first goal goes in for the Tampa Bay Bolts, as Hagel will have his first goal in the playoffs. On a clear range, you can definitely say what happened to Brennan Hagel. He made a backhand over it and tried to beat against the Sturkin. When he got there, clearly, he just had to make his way around and took the backhand hit and go for a slap, and they have that early lead. The start was in range here right now for the New York Rangers as they have that one clearly in between. One of things to score for Tampa Bay. And here's Paul. He will have that right on the right slot. This one gets broken up by Fox. Zabanajan will have that puck cleared out. Looking towards the Kako. Kako right toward the middle. Find Carter's shot. This save me goes by Veselevsky. Battling for the loose puck of the chain. Kreider recovers it, now finds the bandage at. Lindgren shot, saved by Veselevsky. 16, 14 to go in the first period. Still a lot of time left. And here's another face-off. They'll have that man advantage ready to go. Back into full strength and off to a face-off. The wins the face-off. Fox shot, saved by Veselevsky. Still a lot of time left as Veselevsky hasn't been playing here for since after last season because of the win puts in for the first round against the Toronto Maple Leafs on NHL Yanni Sports. 
but his loss turned to be against the Toronto Maple Leafs. You know, the shocking part of it doesn't happen to be what Veselesky has been doing, a lot of it's with his concentration, because this didn't happen to be one of them that they were really over us. Everybody's trying to work on their own, they do not want to get defended up if they do this on their own best, on their attackers. It's because what they do, they can't let them let them pressure and take all the risk. Steven Stamkos got the puck. Fox takes it away and now he gives to Kako. Here comes the bandage right toward the corner. He goes down. SD Han will have that puck. A defensive effort puts again to Stamkos. Recovered by Kreider. Here's Kreider now back again. Paul has lost that puck. He now has it over the range right into the right side of the territory. Paul with it now. Here's Lindgren, grab that puck, now gives to Kako, now get to Kreider. Kreider working on their way in to shoot! That one saved again with the block shot. Lindgren, diagonal to Drocek. Pesileski's going to hold it up with only 14.23 to go, as it doesn't go from here to make the pass. Still a lot of time in this period. Still a one nothing game score for the Tampa Bay. And now Sorelli will have it over to get to Chaffee. Chaffee got bumbled out. That's a big attackers. They really are starting to go over this. Sometimes, some other players that come from different teams, they sometimes have a little hard time at that point. I never see what's going to go, but it might be a hard way that they could try to like stop one if they can pressure it in. Now Geffen will have that butt. Scrumbling along the board as Trocek gets to Lafreniere. Now the shot! Quick timer stopped by Vizilevsky. Oh, that was a great play. Because he almost would have had that goal right away in instinct, but not to worry. It's to defend or not defend right a range on sight. That's a hard one. And now Fox leaves over to Panera and shoots! Glove saved by Vizilevsky. 12.50 remaining in the first period. It's coming in, going close to the midway mark. Now with the win, here's Miller. Miller to give over to Pasha. That tips off wide on the backhand. Points got the ball. After he went down, now he gives it over. Hagel got that stick lifted. Good play effort here to make the stick move. And Hagel's back over in the middle. Finds point with the shot. So oh, what a save by Sturkin. Beasy's covered up on the board. Now Beasy will have it over here and again. Now back to Hagel. Hagel on his way down. Cooley will give it to Miller. Miller on his way down now. Goes right in towards the slot to Brzezinski. For a cut and slide. Good stop by Veselevsky. With under 11.30 to go in the first. That's what happens now because Veselevsky has been really been keeping it over in since. That's what nobody has really gotten into. They are trying to get that one out. They need to let it go. Radish gets the game and now he finds over Mate. Back again to Radius. Radius, bad pass, broke it up. Cooley in his way down. That one got wide as the defender caught him. Morte, pass broke it up. And there's the tripping call. This one goes to, to Tampa Bay Bolts. And a two major penalty kill for the Tampa Bay will have their second attempt for the power play for the New York Rangers. Yeah, this is what happens now because Barry Bullock really got that one slashed out. That one made that tripping earlier. He went on to Truba. That's not going to help them. Power play on the next one on its way and ready to take things on. It just 10.50 left. As for the win puts for the Bolts as Mote will try to attempt to clear the puck out. The New York Rangers will have Adam Fox here. The deep pass to Trocek. Trocek on the 2 on 1 fast break shot. Good stop by Veselevsky. Perfect will now have it over again to Glendening. And now he has it on its way down. Tries to work his way through as advantage gives to Panarin. Panarin tries to work his way across, and this one goes right back toward a slot. Burbitz back to Kreider. Here's the Benajad shot. Pat saved by Veselevsky. Dump out into the own end. The Benajad give again to Panarin. The third eye unsuccessful as Glendening takes the puck seal. Evan on the two on one fast break. Try to get the short game in here. That shot was too wide. 
Headman gives to Glennony. Losses the puck. Now Savannah will have it. Across the line is Kreider. Shots to the streets. It's saved again by Vesilevsky. And when Vesilevsky has that all coming down, they really want to have the power play advantage. They love to have the goaltenders in there. That's a hard thing that they've done for. Looks like he's ready to get back out there. The Tampa Bay Bolts clearly goes back to even shame as the second and second attempt for their power play. 0-2 for the Rangers. He scores! Vincent Trocek. After an even strength, it goes on with the board. Tied the game and won. I know what happened. That thing was a cutting bound. You tried to get rid of the goaltender, but that was like no joke. Because of Vincent Trocek, he made that one clear wraparound passing Vesilevsky. That is a hard one to take the play pick. And you know that was a hard, difficult range. Rangers and the Bolts are tied with under nine minutes to spare in the first period. And now with the runner faceoff, here's Lindgren. He now has it over again to Kreider. Kreider loses the puck control. And now back to Shiri. Beyond back to Paul. Nick Paul trying to cut him down. Hurts the good stop here by Shesterkin, near an eight minute mark in the first. Officials again set, ready for the face off. A tie game releases, 1 1. Now he will have it back as Furbix will take it. Chop the puck up as Advantage will have it. Spins around, looks for Fox. Taken along by Kako. Kako on the two-on-one fast break. This one stopped again by Vesilevsky. You know, Vesilevsky's been really going all over this, and he has been trying to keep that one going in strength. I know it's like a hard one to take, but not to offend that. That's where the difficult takes on. Nick Paul wins the faceoff, and now he gives the Cernax over now to Stamskos. Stab goes on his way down. He now gets it over right into the right way. Gets the Sherry shot. This one's chopped off. As Fox will have it over with the recovery rebound. Seven minutes to spare in the first period. Cut in the move. That's Cernox got in with the double traffic and take it over by Stamkos. Here's Steven Stamkos. Gets to Paul. And this one's popped up. And they put it back in. He scores again. The captain from the Bolts brings their team back up by one. When there's no joke here, because of Steven Stamkos, he really had that pass coming along. After he give it over, Braden Point, Nick Paul, give over to Stamkos. That's a great shot to take care of that one. And beats over the goaltender, make it clear, make that one work. Yeah, I gotta say now, this is what Nick Paul does. He made the assist come right over it again to Steven Stamkos. He really has a lot of like, hard strength. He's trying to put up a win here, and they wanted to get back into the second round. Since they beat against the Toronto Maple Leafs last time, let's see if they do it again. Here's Hagel cutting out. Oh, what a great save by the circuit. Now Fox gives to Brozinski. Brozinski's on his way down, looking over again. Shot. Very off of the save by Vesilevsky. Right to Fisi. Save again. And here's Kucherov. He's on a fast break on a 201 opportunity. Shot. This one stopped. Rebound picked off. Lindgren trying to battle for it. And Shesterkin will try to hold that puck, give some time, and get ready for it our faceoff. Another one coming in down, ready to take the faceoff. 522 left to go in the first. It's a 2 1 game. Trocek wins the faceoff. Truba battling on the board. Hagel recovers the puck and now finds Heidman. Headman blocked that shot. Goes back again to Panera. Panera back again to Truba. Truba to Lafreniere. He dishes it off again to Trocek. Trocek on his way down, trying to look for more room. He's trying to get there. Trocek battling for the board. Panera has got one. Lafreniere shot. What a stop by Vesilevsky. This one goes back out to make them stay out of the ground. Oh, that's what happens now. They just really wanted to try to mess that one up. They can't let that mark go by. Vesilevsky would knew he would have that close call earlier range. Lafreniere shot. This one's saved again. Vesilevsky makes another one. 3.51 to go in the first period. 
We'll get some time to get some energy back and back into the action. Now they're ready to do it on our face off. This is a tight range in between a wild card position and the first CT. Now Protruba lets a stop right to Vesilevsky. Edmund takes that one over. Goes back to Jeff Chaffee. Looking for someone else to take the open pass. Eisenman went down. Truba passed over it again to Sabanajad. Zibanejad right into the lane, in the slot. This one stopped by Vasilevsky. Zibanejad Cryer again. Zibanejad again. Backhander went wide. Battling for the puck. Zibanejad clears it. Ready is trying to hold on with the puck. And they leave his own. Here's Eisenmount trying to get to Hedman. Hedman in the back and he scores. Oh, what a great play for Victor Hedman. He has 10 goals in this playoff game. 144 career goals. I love that move. Victor Hedman just speeds right over Sisterkin, and you're never going to love that. When he's fired that puck, that one deflected right towards him. That's how you start things off. This one got really unlucky. They have made advantage here, and this is now a 3-1 game with only 2 10 to go in the first. Paul wins the faceoff. Sherry has that puck, and now he will have it in to again to Paul's shot. Saved again by Vesalet by Shisterkin, excuse me. Gustafsson with the puck, now into the middle. Raging in, trying to look for some more room. Easy shot, both saved by Vesalevsky. Nearing the 90-second mark of the first period, it's still a 3-1 game in the period. As we noticed before, Steven Stamkos is a 1-T time ability that has all of it coming in to be one of his better solutions to have it down. And Aaron is not the only way, but he has that third eye ability to take all of his response. These are the heavy ones to take here, and this will be anybody's game that can try and take all of them. I'll be watching for those two. Of Panarin and Stamkos. Back to you. Rangers wins another faceoff. Paul takes the puck away. Breaking into the center attacker, Steven Stamkos trying to hold up the two. That one stopped. We are under a minute remaining in the first period as Cooley will have it. Cooley swings it. The firing went wide. DeHaan's got the puck. Now deep pass to Stamkos. Stamkos trying to make his way down to Sherry. Shouts and saved by Shesterkin. You know, you're never going to get it easier because Shesterkin really was trying to get that one saved out. That's a hard one to take over. Dion's got the puck. Now he finds it again to Hagel. Hagel right towards it. Shoots! Saved by Shesterkin as he went down. And now we'll end the first period. A smokeout start for Victor Petman as he takes a 3-1 lead over the Rangers. Get some clear break, and we'll be back in with you after this. We are on now to the second period. Glad you have us with us back. Let's get back into action. And we're off to start with the second period of the game. These are really tough ones to take as I give it over to Lightbulb for the first recap of the first period. Well, they're really like a hard one to try to take him out. I know that the Andre Vesilevsky, he just really tried to take his own balance step along the way. He just really wants to bring his team up closer to the Eastern Conference Finals. They were really eager to go right in and win again. Go with the back-to-back -back Stanley Cup defending champions, but unfortunately, Colorado Avalanche has been taking over in 2022, and then the Maple Leafs take them out for sure. It was no way that they were trying to like keep that one over at the site, and this one got pretty badly when this one turned to be a shock and awe moment, a huge upset. The victory doesn't plug it, and it just didn't happen to be like that. Therefore, they wanted to do this one on their own. But it's a great hustling and bound here. I like when Hagel does it on his own. Wow, what a rocket. He makes that one clear. He silenced the crowd at the Garden. They extended 4-1. Van 
that's no joke. Hegel to Kucherov, a 1T timer. He just really had that one off. Take a slappy with all of his perfectionary, and that one turned to be like he's ready to take off. That's right, guys. Nikita Kucherov was really all into in pursuit, but he wants to go with the 1T to make that one work. He had it all coming. That was a perfect play that, that Hegel would have drawn out, and great assist by Kedvin. Here's Lafreniere, plus save by Veselevsky. 18-17 to go in the second period. He is still clearing out just like a first round does. Trocek wins the face off as Miller gives the Truba. On the shot, saved by Veselevsky. Ready is with the puck. Kick the puck over now to Miller. Over to Trocek. And Sherry has it back. Here he come on the fast break. This one cushions up the corner. Miller has it. Now finally getting the Truba. Truba again to Trocek. And now he gives it Benarin. Benarin trying to hold on. And Lafreniere went offside. We ne we're never uh, seeing what's going on, but it seems like we're about to see this thing off in, in Season 4, if you'd like to see them play. Well, I hope so. <laughs> because they're, because I really like to see what that uh, goes with in between the class zones at the Garden. I think that one might be a good match. Well, we'll find out if they are. No, I'll definitely do. You may never know what to expect. And speaking of which one it is, Season 4 of the Bose Casting will be opening soon here on July, so once this game is finished, we will have that voting polls get ready for you for another uh, NHL season, and that will be NHL 25 on its way down in the corner. There will be a sneak peek here that will happen to be here in just a couple of months, and then after that one, we're about to be heading you down here to on the other side of the game. That will be the WNBA. I never see what goes in, but I think the WNBA might be the next level for some of these. You might be seeing what's going in. Yeah, totally true. Sherry start, and this one goes down. This true will have it. And Kreider now has that puck advantage. On toward the right wing shot, saved by Vasilevsky. 15.47 to go. What a great goaltender he is. He's perfect. Everybody really loves Vasilevsky. Better than Johansson, of course. Great right point wins the face off, and Hagel will have that puck. 15.30 to go in the second period, trying to work his way down. To go with the backhand, Sisterkin denies that shot. Still a lot of time left here in between the Bolts and the Rangers. It's still a 4-1 game. Point wins another face off. Radius brings the puck back. And here's good shot for two. No, that's just Sturkin makes it stop again. He's not really quitting enough already. I mean, he wants to try to, like, put it back in the range. I mean, don't take it offended, seriously. Point wins the faceoff. Radius with the puck. That goes wide. There you go, battling again. Radius shut. Save again by Sturkin. They will have that one back. Right toward the back slot to Kucherov. The back stepper drops block. Two time block. Kucherov again to Nagel. Battling for the loose puck. Brzezinski gives down the Fox. Now their team is out of here with the Bolts territory and now they will have it back. For the Rangers in the Bolts zone. Reyes will bring their Bolts team into the Rangers side of the territory. Try to watch out for getting Kucherov for two. No! Stop again by Shesterkin as he pokes it out. That's really going to be a hard one because Kucherov would have known. He would have wanted to win all bad enough. This would have been not always that easy. That could be a hard one to take a trick. He goes down and this one will not be a, a power play advantage here for three time for the Rangers as it's been denied. He scores! Radius does it again as two goals have made. That's whatever happens. That first goal in the power play, keep on coming down. Yeah, if you try that, what a great screen it is. That's when you take a pickoff look, great screen ability that turned to be like this. That's when you tend to blind the goaltender. That's what happens most of the time if a Sturkin couldn't get it quick. And then 
unfortunate desperation as Jonathan Quick will have to replace him for Igor Shosturkin. And this might be the end for it for game one. Yeah, it's really like a sad to say, but it's not what you always do, but that's what they are trying to let them leave it off. If he loses again, then Jonathan Quick is going to have to uh, replace him. With the close call in between, we have in between Veselevsky and Shosturkin. You know other ways that Andrei Veselevsky has that one controlsomeness. He just what his way his wild save of this ability have turned to be all for in between the teams and go back in wild card in the range. Igor Shosturkin scores. The Panarin does it all. They brought back in there, and there is now a 5-2 game. Watch what Truba does. He kicked to Panarin. What a shot. And that one turned to be open look. And that one beats over Veselevsky and said, here you go, take it here. Panarin Brad over 100 goals of the season. He's been turning great. And that one. Rangers are back down by three. And this one may be coming in towards the line as he's trying to look for another goal to get into a close game with nearing the midway mark. But we haven't passed it yet. Dehan goes back again, now again to Sorelli. Sorelli over again now in, trying to find an open slot to Chaffee. Shot! And they put back in, he scores! First goal in the playoffs turns to McAfee as he has his first goal of the night. Well, you saw that one coming because the Chaffee really had that one coming in to beat the goal. That's what happens. He has to blind that goaltending, and that one got a tricky look. But on with that, recover the puck. The backhand does it again. A desperation in between right now, as this one is a 6-2 lead for the Bolts. Wow. They might be coming in looking for some upsets, but that game is too early. Yeah, it's probably actually too early to do this one here, so hopefully there's more room to get there. Good stop by Shesterkin. Nearing a 12 minute mark in the second period, still coming in straight. As we approach right now here for the next part of the two games, we've got the Stars and the Predators at Dallas and American Airlines Center. Then after that one, we will get you right to Vancouver as the Canucks take on against the Los Angeles Kings at Rogers Arena. Haven't been able to go into playoffs for the first time, but this might be all. Two goals in a game for Panarin scores. I think that problem must have been happening here. He went stripped over and he just slipped. After that pass from Trocek, he just really saw that one coming. And there's that screen he was making the play off. That is a good cut and bound. He's looking to get three on his hat trick. A back-to-back -back scores. Cuts their lead down by three. Just 11.39 to go in the second period. Panarin looking to get three goals in the game, and he has gotten a hat trick. We definitely seen it before, putting up a biggest run of his motion. A hundred goals of a season turned to be like great. He scores! Chris Kreider! As he puts it up for another goal in the playoffs, he starts his own way down towards the line, nearing a midway mark. When you could tell about that one here for Chris Kreider, he was doing that slap move. Try to go with that deep pass here after Adam Fox giving a deep over to Kreider. He had that one good cut motion. That turned light, it was big. And yes, this is all what happened. Adam Fox made that tape to tape zone to Chris Kreider. Had that one going in as true as Kako had that one first to go for it. But it didn't really happen to have that. So he tried to do it on his own best. But the behaviors are wild, wolf, wild positioning. I'll see what happens if he gets another one. And Mika Sibanejad has a magnetic ability. He has it all been ranging here to try to take a magnetic blade and have that reflected or deflected right in between to go right from the goal or defend that block shot. This might be a hard one for Mika Sibanejad, but we'll find out if he does one. Back to you. Veseleski denies a shot with nearing the midway mark of the period. Still coming down to a two-point lead for the Bolts.
Ball wins the faceoff and now ready. Ishmael got that puck. He now gets the Kedman. On the deep pass over again to Stamkos. He goes down. Steven Stamkos trying to work his way down. On the shot, saved again by Sisterkin. Now he puts it over to Paul on the battling board. Ball behind the net on a shot. This one's denied by Zibanejad. You know, it happened to be almost a close call because this was not really all the day he has been. That's what he has been doing for. Try to fuck it before you get their ball. If they don't get it done in time, then they're going to have a problem with that because the Bolts are very, like, a great team. They're like an overrated team. Oh, let me tell you that. Miller has that puck and now finds again the true butt. And here's Kreider. He'll have that puck with nine minutes remaining in a second. On a shot! Take it too wide, and this one goes bumbled down by the defender of the Bolts. Yeah, it's pretty easy to say that it's a great clash down. Kaboom! You go down. Boy on a shot, and he scores! Close the quarter in the second, first goal in the playoffs. That's what happens now. Braden Point, he earned it. Look at that. When you definitely made that close quarter call, that was happened to be that first tip to take in there for all the certain reasons. Closing quarters beats Shesterkin. And Shesterkin is devastated now. This will be a replacement for Jonathan Quick to replace him for a new goaltender. Reyes will give it over to Point. And that one starts it off for the Quick on a first save of the night. Lindgren has that puck. Fox will clear the puck out. Eight minutes remaining in the second period as now Fox will have it. Shesterkin still not quite given up yet, but there's one more chance if he misses again. Then Aaron sidesteps it, now finds Trocek's shot. Veseleski denies the shot. 7.30 in the second period, looking to see if they can punch back in. Now they're ready to do this one again for another faceoff. It's a 7-4 lead for the Bolts. New York wins the faceoff. Truba on his way down. That screening got denied out by the goaltender. Trocek goes down and now he finds Kucherov. Looking to get another two goals in this game. To fire that shot. This one stopped. Rebound again. Panarin battling it on him. Kucherov to point. Saved again by Shesterkin. That's going to be our one in there because Trocek really knew if this would almost be impossible to get this thing over with. I would not like that one if that cut him out and goes in. And he scores! Sarah Surf, three goals of the night. In early range, puts a hat trick for Panarin. The Panera brand. Panarin, what do you know? Three goals that made his career got into a great start. What a great goal. Make that shot after Lafreniere and Van Trocek and Van Panarin. That's a clean shot. That's right. As Trocek gives that one here for Artemi Panarin, he has that one with his hat trick on the start of the first game. A great take, and they all do it. Here's Panarin, take it four. This one stopped again by Shesterk by Vasilevsky. Lafreniere to Miller. Shoots! Saved again by Vasilevsky. Panarin tries again and now finding over to get a Truba. And he shoots that went wide. Vezilevsky's going to hold out puck here with just under six minutes to remain in the second period. Ready for an face off. Now they're ready to do this one again. The Rangers are not quitting here in New York as they still have a 7-5 lead for the shot. But now Keandre Miller takes a turn to make the goal. First playoff game against the Bulls. Yeah, that's clearly a good shot. After that face-off, that's what happens, you do the same. Let me handle it, he said. After the face-off puts in by Wazinski, and he gives it over again to Keandre Miller. He had that one with a great goal. What a shot. They are down by one. This is like a back-to-back -back scores in between of the Tampa Bay Bolts and the New York Rangers. Now Wazinski wins the face-off. Cooley has it. Loses the puck range. Cooley's got that puck in control. Go in middle. He goes down. Furbick's got the puck. Now for the Tampa Bay Bolts turn. Back to Chaffee. First goal in the playoffs. Looking for two. This one's denied by Shesterkin. Pucking over to the corner. Now we have the rebound for Eisenman. Right around the goal. 
into Miller. Now Miller will have that puck taking it over into Bolts territory. Two on one fast break. Do they tie it up? No, this one stopped. Sorelli has the puck with only 4.30 to go. Now has that one on the right slot. This one stopped again. Sorelli, oh, he went down. This one goes with the puck clash play. Another save by Shisurkin. Easier said than done. That's what you got to do. Try to hold that puck and just hold on tight. Save comes up big by Veselovsky. He now over it again to Paul. Loses the puck. Samkos has it. And Fox will give it over again as the Vanajad. The Vanajad shoots. Tied up is denied by Veselovsky. 50 shots on goal for the Rangers. And for the Tampa Bay Bulls, they've been doing so many. They only had 30. Trailed up with 20 shots in the game. Faceoff lead for the Bolts. Here's Hedman. We'll decide to hold on for Veselevsky as he tries not to take the steal right in between. That's a good call right now because if something happens right away, if he takes that putt, they knew they are going to get it in there. But that's a great hold on with the putt. Just hold on tight. Another win for the Bolts. As Hedman will have that puck now find Reddyish. Sherry will have it over. Under three minutes remaining in the second period, trying to look for more and hit the goalpost. Ready a shot. Saved again by Shisurke. And Fox will have it. 2 30 left to go in the first, second period, and now Kreider will have it. Kreider stepping back. Ready to takes a puck steal. Now over to Hedman. Hedman looking his way down, trying to look for some open space. Loses the puck as Ivanichek takes a steal. On the attacker in the range. Take the shot. That goes up and right toward the glass as Kreider will have it over again to Fox. Lindgren shoots and he scores! Ryan Lindgren! First goal now brings your team to a tie. That's what you always do because Ryan Lindgren saw that when you're coming and this was going to be a close call. And who's back? Ryan Lindgren had that goal after a tape to tape by Fox. First assist of the night, get to Lindgren, and that goal got him clean. The Rangers are back in town. No quit in New York as they are tied up by seven. Now Point wins the face off as Heaven will have it over it again to Kucherov. He goes stop and bound. Here's Kucherov's shot. This one's locked out. Lindgren tries again to Fox. Down to a minute remaining in the second period. Zabanajad beating over to lead it. No, Veselevsky takes a save. And we are under a minute remaining in the second. Easier to go for it. Veselevsky has to hold on to the puck. Rangers fans want to get low and noisy as they're tied up. Trocek wins the face off as Miller will have it. Panera will have it again to Trocek. That shot been blocked. That one stopped by Veselevsky. Oh, what a great stop here for the goaltender as the Bolts are still holding on to its pressure and they're ready for an earth face off. Easier to go with now because I say Veselevsky, he's been a better goaltender right now. They brought their team into the second round, but this wasn't their day to be here to winning game four against the Boston Bruins. They were really like onto a heat stroke. That's a hard one, but they wanted to try to maintain it. Now Point, you will have that puck. Race and bound to relieve it. No, it's just Sturkin makes a stop. What a great play by Braden Point. As this one denies for Shesterkin, and he is still not quitting. Oh, that one's still not going to be like an answer to call that, if you know what I'm saying. Because he's been light dominated. <laughs> of course he is. Miller to Truba, and now Lafreniere to take the lead to shoot. Blocked up. And they are done. Second period complete. Back-to-back -back scores in between the Bolts and the Rangers. We'll get to the third when we come back after the break. Always for Lindgren. Get the goal by Tate the Tape for Adam Fox. Welcome back to the Garden. And we're waiting for this third period. Two quarters down, one more to go. 
I hope you're having fun with us. It has been a wild game in between the Bolts and for the Rangers on the other side of the ring. I have the recap for the second period. A back-to-back playing. -back what you got? Well, I really was happy to have that because Artemi Panero was really getting it over to this. He just finally had three goals. After with two, he now had to serve it to take three goals opportunity range. And he also has that one with his 100th goal of the season of his NHL career. That one turned to be like the biggest day that he has been ever doing it. And only for the winning man of the streak in the road, that goes for Jonathan Quick. He really had that one all coming down. But when G. Bush is Sturkin, he definitely congratulated again. I always give him a credit to that. And there's a lot of great back-to-back uh, -back scores in between. First the Bolts, now the Rangers will have that one with the goal. They definitely took that down right away. On a start for Lafreniere, now find Kreider shot. This one stopped again by Vizalevsky. A great play inbound. That was like a close call. You're never going to get that done. You just got to keep on working it. Ready to it now to Kucherov. Goes right to Paul. Shot! Saved by Vesterkin. Lafreniere scrums along the board. Fox recovers it. Taken along by Trocek. And now give to Panera. Panera went three goals looking for four. That defender takes it over as Dijon has it. Dijon takes to Kucherov. Kucherov tried to get two goals, but now he deserves the Paul Stanko square go for two. And a save he puts to Sturkin. What a close call this is, as this one would have been an extension to go back in the lead. Not as I would say about you. If Steven Stankos would have had that reflected goal, he would have had that one way quicker than that. But not for long, he made a stop. Back pass to Panera, and now he gives it again to Brzezinski shot. That's blocked by Sistankos. Cherry will now have it, as the Bolts will now have it back into their Rangers territory. Buck leaves his own. He now gives to Stenkos. Now give it again to Paul. Paul trying to work his way down around. This one stopped. The Rangers are back into the offense as Cooley will have it again to Brzezinski. VZ has that one puck into the Bolts territory. VZ can't get through it. Recovered by Brzezinski. To go for Cooley. Shoot! Locked in the night way by Lilberg as Gibson saw ice mound. Lightning looking for its open look. Here's Sorelli shot to Chad Fee's on a two! That one's no uh, out, and Sorelli recovers the puck. That shot went too wide. Brzezinski battles along the board by Chaffee. Chaffee trying to watch on him. BC has that puck. 14 minutes remaining in the third period. Still looking to get a lead goal in the third. That's what happens now because they really are trying to work it off. Shake that one off. Don't quit here. Still keep on track. That's a hard one, but they're going to have to like keep it on the range. Good glove catch by Sesterkin as Kucherov misses it to go for two. We haven't hit the midway mark of the period. You can feel the energy. It's a tie game, 7-7 seven, seven game. Point wins the face of it. Now he finds again a headman shot. This one's knocked out. Sabanajad now has that puck in cleared out of the ranger zone looking for more room. We say in the puck to Lindgren now again to Schneider. Sabanajad will have his way down toward the attacking zone. To beat the arc is off the mark. And Radius has it over again to Hegel. Hegel try to work his way through, try to get the pass to point, and that one passes off, broke it up. Here comes Sabanajad. Sibanejad clears the arc. This one missed it again. Delay penalty been called and that's on the bolts. Well, there's what happens. Obstruction hooking call on Braden Point. That's a problem. Power play will get their third time on his way as this one will start things off in the third period. The Rangers have a 0-2 advantage, but now they wanted to take 0-3 on their way to go back with the lead. And now Forbrooks will have this puck. Clears the puck out. Great in point in a penalty box as another penalty kill on Tampa Bay. Schreiner gets pushed out. Evan trying to take the puck steal. And now with the crow cho check with recovery. Evan swings it out. Fox got it. 
and now finds Panera. Panera again to Trocha. He now has it over across here to get to Fox. Fox again to Kreider's shot. What a save again by Veselevsky. Kreider does it again. Shoots! Overstructed, and this one stopped again by Shesterkin. Over by Veselevsky. Rangers are back in the offense with one minute in the power play. Trojek trying to look for open room. To shoot away, this one's blocked. Kevin now goes back the airway to clear the puck out. Recovered again by the Rangers. The Lightning are back in the offensive zone. Lennon's got that puck with 30 seconds. Lennon, he went down. No sure-handed goals this time. Yes, they'll stay out. This one's going to be a shutdown if you don't get that one done right. He's almost ready to get out there. Burbank clears it out, and that will end the Rangers' power play. 0 for 3 in the power play goals. Take that year. Yeah, that was pretty tight already. I have no other idea why what they absolutely do. They have a lot of them to take their response. That's on no way on their lap. Andre Vizalevsky has a control in for this time of this of wild save. He's been looking for his, one of his curricular game in the playoffs and looking for his another chance to get right into work. This offense brings it up, and to the defender, he blocks that one. Can try to go with another range to keep that tight. Love that bounce Kreider, and now again to Fox. 9.15 left to go in the third period, trying to look for some more rooms. Advantage just shot! Rebound again! That's saved again by Veselevsky! Stab goes right in the other way, gets the Furbix. Pass now over again to the both side into Rangers territory as he went down. Cooley will try to clear it out. Tegon's got the puck. Tampa Bay are back into the offense, now finds Sherry. Sherry, and that goes back again to Lindgren again to Brzezinski. Pass again to Cooley. Coyle over and out again to Point. Point try to go for that closing corner for two shots, saved by Shesterkin. Oh, that's a wild one, because that wild shot puts it in here for Shesterkin. He knew he was going to come out there that fast. Point shot, this one saved again by Veselevsky. And now Hedman will have it with 7.20 to go in the third period. If the game's still tied, we go right into overtime for the first time in the season. To start things up with the continuous overtime. And now he's happy, he gets the point. Point try to handle it off. Now he finds the giggle. Shoots! That went way wide off the mark behind the net. Edmund to lead it! No! Two time stop by Shesterkin. Oh, what a great save for the Rangers. They all chant for Igor. What a stop. That's what you call that one here. Igor Shesterkin is really like. Lifting his all, better pursuit, just keep on reacting to this. Now Miller will have that puck here, and now he will give it over again, right to Cooley. Quill right into the right swing. Drew left the shoot, saved off again by Veselevsky. The captain didn't get a goal for the first lead off in game one. Now Brayden Point comes it in. He went down, what a takedown for Keandre Miller. That's what you do, show no respect, but you definitely wanted to try to revenge it, take it over from me. Now Hannah will have it over into the Rangers territory. Pass it over to Cerrone, just circuit makes a stop. Nearing five minutes remaining in the third period, still looking to get a goal and get back in the lead. Now they're ready to do this one again. Still, as we got the Dallas Stars and the Predators at American Airlines Center, that'll be at 8 p.m. And then the Canucks will face against the Kings at Rogers Arena in Vancouver. That'll be happening here later, two games tonight, only on Sun of Beast. Now he's ready, he's with the puck. And now goes to Sorelli again, shot, saved again by Sisterkin. He now finds Truba. Trying to keep the puck back in sight. On a shot, this stopped up by Veselevsky. Eyes around with the puck. Now has it over it again, trying to look around it. And he just had that block coming in by Keandre Miller. Miller will fire it out with a new line change coming on. And here's Forbix. 
Drives it over now to Paul. Trying to go with a deep hander and it's tough taken away by Trocek. Here's Lindgren trying to battle for Lafreniere. Shot that's saved again by Vasilevsky. The arm back to Furbitz. Now over again to Stamkos. Three minutes remaining in the third period. Try to look for an attempt to look for a clean look view. Shot's blocked by Lindgren. That's really like a hard one in bound. Try to deflect that one here. Try to block that one here. But that's what you can always do. Keep that one coming, coming. Here's Kako. We deflect it in. This one's blocked out. Zubanichad. This one's been blocked it over. And now Furbix has a good cover. And Paul will have it. He loses one. One on one fast break. Oh, he went down. And that was blocked up by Steven Stamkos. And Reddish had that fucking time. Well, that one's going to be a hard one to take. Not everybody's good at it, but this was like a, a crush out to take. Here's Hagel to lead it. What a stop by Sisterkin as the puck sails over to the net and out of play. You never know what happens because that really has to be a big smackdown when you make the shot and Dehan denies it. As we have the call, let's go over to Ultra Beast with our Timmy Benera. Benera has been doing really well on his best film behaviors. He's gotten great at it with three goals in the game and a hat trick, but his third eye comes in fruition. We hope to keep him for the next couple of games on its way for more to come. Saved up by Veselevsky. Nearing a final minute in the third period, still a tie game looking for a lead in the first game. Now Paul wins the faceoff and he gets the Sherry. Shavy right into the right wing. Last minute in the third period. Here's Headband. It's blocked up. and shot saved by Shisterkin. Lindgren. Get back to Fox. Now finds Lafreniere. Lafreniere on his move. Pushing down. Shoot. Saved by Veselevsky. Headband gets the ball. Now finds Stamkos. Stamkos on a one on one. Glove by Shisterkin. Oh, he has been terrific out there. Without replacing Jonathan Quick, he just got it all. Keep on coming down if you know what I mean. <laughs> That's what they all happened for. The manager wins the face off 20 seconds in the regulation period. Now finds Kako. Kako trying to look it over. To rebound the puck. He's down. Edmund. Last seconds remaining. Point's got to do something. And he went down. We are going into overtime for the third season, straight away for continuous run. That's it. It all happens to be like this out of the game. We're ready to go to overtime. We'll take you right back into this one right after the break. While we take a look over here for the, uh, the statistics scores, let's have a look of what the scores comes in for each period. From first to third. And now this time, it's about to happen as we are ready to see this overtime. And this one will start with the continuous overtime presented by Adidas. Now, your take here for you, Lightball. Who do you think will have that most of the goals coming in? Well, you know what? I may have to tell you now because there's one way. They've been shooting so well. And they've been doing a lot of great passes in between there now. There are a lot of obstruction rules over it. But they can never be denied right this moment. But I will tell you this, they've done really like a hard work out there. They are really are pushing it up with that on itself. It's not what they always do, but they have really been dominating the gas out of it. I mean, this is like a pushing stamina, pushing across in between. And I might say, it can be a lot harder or challenging. You might have that one opportunity to get more. With three goals beside it here for Artemi Panera, and he's been making his way down towards Abushin. And with that one, Victor Hedman hasn't been really taking a lot of goals in between with Kucherov this season for the playoffs. After a first round loss against the Maple Leafs, this was not the only time of the day to start things over here at Canada. What do you think will this happen? 
Well, I might say this could be a lot that harder and challenging, but you might have to defend it anyway. But you'll never know. It could sometimes be like harder to get. Nothing to know, but for sure it is. And it's gonna be like, what do you have to do if you can stop on that one in there? Well, and we're ready to get this thing started for overtime as we continue for its playoff game on EA Sports. This overtime of the of the EA Sports is brought to you part by Adidas. And we are ready. First overtime starts now at the Garden. All what it takes in between. Let's have your call in between. Who do you think will take it all? Well, the range on the side's gonna happen. I don't know what will it be, but let's see what goes in. Because there's a lot of great, great plays in this in between this deck. You know, have to count that one in there. Go with your own take. Now with the faceoff coming in right now, it's still a tie game. In overtime, 19.40 to go on the start of the first overtime. Fox now finds the Kreider. Kreider tried to rule it in the bounds. Will he win it? No, that's not by Veselovsky. That was pretty close. Not going to be easy enough if you're going to try to keep on coming out. That buck's broken up. The team will have to stay back without calling offside as Hedman will have it. New York Rangers are back into the offensive zone. Get the pass to Fox. Now he finds Krako. Krako right towards his middle down to shoot. And it's saved by Veselovsky. Ready is again to Kucherov. Kucherov on the fast break, trying to beat the two man rushers. This one stopped by Shisturkin. Lindgren gets again to Fox. Now he has it over to get to Zibanejad. Zibanejad lost that puck and he goes right over on the other side. Kucherov's got that puck, racing towards him down in the Rangers territory. Point to win it! That's denied by Shisturkin, what a save! Oh, that's going to be a bigger attacker. Just got to keep on working on it, Mr. Sturkin. Braden Point has a closing quarters in between that he could try to do for his own living if he makes an attempt to win this game in overtime. We'll find out if he does so if he gets their first game victory for the Tampa Bay Bolts. Back to you. Now back over again to Kucherov. Tightening it up the corner as he lets go. And Fox will have it. Recovered by Kako. Over to Kreider to win the game. This one's wide. Kreider now to Sabanachad. This one going to be a penalty. And that's going to be a slashing on the penalty for the Bolts. Oh boy. I might say. I think Rangers are clean. But I think the Bolts, they are slapping it out. They're having a, a, a start of a nightmare fuel. This is going to be a hard one that they're trying to get. Ouch. The Rangers will have an 0 4 Ranger if they get another goal. If they get a power play, it will be finished. Chocek wins it. Chuba to win it. He scores! Jacob Chuba wins the first game of the night. It's a power play goal. And there you have it. A wild run start in New York at the Garden. Beats. Veselevsky. This was unbelievable. Jacob Truba made that one after a fin winning faceoff. He had this goal, knocked it in, beat Veselevsky. A wild win in the start at the Garden. We all salute to the fans. This was a crazy game. They finally dug it up, and we know we're ready to go on to the next game. I know. Definitely, of course, they big game. Can't let it happen. With Tyler Beast along with Lightbulb and Ultra Beast, this has been a presentation of the NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs on EA Sports. Thanks for joining with us, and we'll see you again for the next game. Peace out, folks. Until next time. Well, as you know, not now. Thank you, guys. As Jacob Truba finishes off with the winning game in overtime, beat Oliver Veselovsky, and just made a crew. Oh, he's been like a crazy guy. I mean, just bring it on for goodness. And that's what you can do.
If you can win it, just go with Deshaun. That's what happens now. You get this thing over well and done. Now it's time for three star players of the guy. Let's take it over here, Mifo. All right, let's go for it. The first star we to start things off here for the New York Rangers is Jacob Truba, a winning goal in overtime with a goal, two assists, and six hits. Then your second star player of the game goes with a hat trick, Artemi Panarin with three goals and six hits. He's been crazy enough to win this one, but he won it all. Over 100 goals is a crazy game. And your best player of the defender goes with Vincent Trocek. A goal, four assists, and two hits. He's been pulling up a rocket blast. And here's what he did with the 12 statistics. 72 over 49 for New York Rangers on 12 shots on goal. 50 over 48 for the hits of New York. 737 over 614 for the New York Rangers. 92 passing turned out great, better than the 90 percentage here for the New York Rangers. And 32 faceoff wins, over 31 for Tampa Bay. And the New York Rangers, it's going to be a close one, too. Eight minute penalty kill was on Tampa Bay. One power play goal puts him in an overtime win, with 603 gone by. And you know what happens? You know the point is, do your best at it, get control over, and you do it all. Well, that's officially what they all say, just to keep on here going. Anyway, that is it for the first two games in the Western Eastern Conference. We'll send you down to the other side of the Western Conference, as we'll get the game underway soon at 8 p.m. We'll do some a little bit of a musical chance in between, as some of the couple, couple of commentaries will be going out to the game, and some of them will be here for the pregame show. We'll see you all in just a bit here on ice at the each arenas for the playoff game. Wood Spoonie along with me, Fern, and Ballpoint Pan. This has been a presentation of a second game in Eastern Conference of the Stanley Cup Playoffs. Tune us once next time for Game 2 coming soon after the first game's completed. Peace out, folks, for a while as the NHL 24 of the Stanley Cup Playoff style. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.